Hi everyone, I'm Ratty Star and welcome to a brand new series on my channel. We're going to do a full walkthrough on survival difficulty and in each episode I'm going to highlight something that's very important and you shouldn't miss. Okay, and I'll see you guys when we are in the vault. Okay, welcome back. So we are just about to exit the vault and we're about to get into the cutscene with Kellogg. Okay, so our quest is on to hunt down Kellogg, who has just murdered our wife. So, mysterious figure, we all know who you are, Kellogg. Okay, so there are some key things we need from the vault when we before we leave. So, first of which is... First thing we need is our dead wife's wedding ring. So let's open up the cryopod. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, God! And we're going to take her wedding ring, which can be sold. So there we go. We've got her wedding ring. Okay. There's a security baton right here. And there is... So there's a stim pack there. So we're about to encounter our first lot of roaches. So here we are. Okay, now animals give you meat, and the meat is very important because you need them to cook. You need to cook meat now because you need to satisfy your hunger. Now there are eight bottles in this room, so there's one on the floor there, one there, two here, and then there's three on this desk. And I believe that is it. So I haven't got a pit boy at the moment, so I can't open, can't check my inventory, but I believe that was it. So there was one. Yeah. Okay, so now we get an option to fill bottle. So you just want to press your relevant button. For me, it's X on the Xbox One. So if you are on PC, it will be whatever key. And if you're on PS4, it will be the e equal the same button. Okay, so uh, on it, there's another one there. How did I miss that? And there's one in there. Okay, wow. You might not always get that other bottle that's in the uh, in the cabinet there. I've been quite lucky with that. So in this room, there are some more roaches. There's one there. He's going to get blasted by the uh, zappy thing. There's another roach here. Let's take your meat. And we'll take your meat. And we'll wait for that to blast once more and then we'll run in and get that meat. Let's go. We need all the meat we can get. Okay, so there's a few more roaches. So the loss of health is not important. So there we've just had a message about adrenaline is increasing your damage to so stay awake and get more kills to increase the bonus of your adrenaline. So as soon as you sleep, you will wipe out your adrenaline. And sleeping is required for Fallout 4 in order to save the game. In this room, there's some more 10 mil ammo. Some more there. There's the cry later, which if that's your thing, you can come back and collect later. We'll take another 10 mil just just because and then check this room here so mirrors mirrors are can be a good source of uh, antibiotics okay so what we'll do is within a vault you will always get purified water so we're just going to drink just to recover our health we've already filled all the bottles we can Okay, so let's open up the anything else here. So let's open up the terminal and we'll open the evacuation tunnel so that we can exit the vault. So I want to save my ammo if I can. And we're just going to use the baton. Okay, 
So we'll save our ammo. We can just go back to the sink and recover our health in the sink. So let's take all this meat because, once again, meat is hugely important. Let's just head back to the sink. Okay, we're done. There's a few more roaches up here. And we're about to pick up our pit boy. There's another roach there. And then one will come out from the stairs. There we go. There's some ammo over here in this locker. 10, 10 mil rounds. And there's some ammo there. And we can collect our pit boy. There's nothing else of significance in here. And we'll be exiting the vault. Okay, so let me just quickly check our inventory. So we've got two 10mm pistols with 111 rounds. We've got a security baton. We've got some eyeglasses. We've got the jumpsuit. We've got our wife's wedding ring, which we can sell for 250 caps. And we've got our own wedding ring. Okay, we've got nine purified water, 14 rad roach, and the four stim packs. And we've got a hot plate, which is good for circuitry. There's our 111 10 mil rounds. So let's open the vault and we shall be exiting. Okay. So once we get onto the surface, we're going to head straight into Sanctuary and we're going to loot Sanctuary. There's lots of loot in Sanctuary. Okay, so before we get to Sanctuary, there's a few places right outside the vault here that we can go and loot. Chief among which, this cabin here, which is like the vault control. There's two bottles, there's a wooden crate, two stim packs in purified water. We can reopen the vault if we wish, but there's really no need. Okay, then we've got a couple of wooden crates here. Molotov right away, paintbrush. I'm just going to take everything. And then there's this cabin down here, which always has a cram. Um, so, on my other build, I'm running currently. So, I've got a Fallout 4 Survival Challenge build where I'm not allowed to use any perks, purchases, no companion, no vats, no workshop, uh, no crafting, no cooking. So, I've got to eat irradiated food. So, cram is vitally important for me on that run but on this run we are not interested in irradiated food we want to be eating as much pre-cooked or cooked food as possible to avoid getting sick because sickness is now a thing in survival difficulty and you don't want to be getting sick because you can either you can only cure sickness either by antibiotics or from visiting a doctor and there aren't too many of those around, and antibiotics are very rare. So, let's go and see Codsworth. So, here there is a Grognat the Barbarian. If a melee build is your thing, then we've got. So, there's a special book, which I'm going to put into Charisma. 
will give me six. So, once again, bathrooms, mirrors are hugely important. We've got six bobby pins out of there. We'll take the Mr. Handy Fuel. Some bobby pins. So, we're going to go and search the neighbourhood. Codsworth is going to do all the hard work. Yeah, Codsworth, Codsworth can deal with all that on his own. Now, here we want to pick up a bloatfly gland, which can be turned in for a quest at Diamond City in the Science Centre. Right, so here we go. Codsworth's dealt with this. So, fridge door, new cola, milk bottle. So, there's lots of nice stuff there. I'm not... I'll take the pipe pistol and we'll take the silver locket. We'll take all that. Pre-war money is awesome for trading because it has a zero weight, but it's worth something. So let's move on. So Codsworth is over in this house here. So let's just go and deal with... Oh, we didn't pick up the... So there's our bloke fly gland. Bloatfly meat and bloatfly meat. I'm not interested in the other bits, so we've got a few more bits of meat. So Codsworth's over in this house here. Handcuffs, they're good for a screw, I believe. Yeah. There's another pipe pistol in this corner here if uh, you didn't pick the one up previous. So there's no bloke fly gland, we're not interested in that. Even though it does have acid. So actually we will take it, because acid is quite a good crafting component. Meat, bottle caps, and some more acid. So let's hack this safe. Yes. So shotguns, um... I'll leave it entirely up to you whether you want to use shotguns or not. I choose not to, as they are, I think, not the best weapons for survival difficulty, as you need to keep enemies generally as far away from you as possible, and shotguns are obviously a close quarters weapon, um, and obviously the closer enemies get to you, the more damage they're going to do, and ghouls and things, will they will make you sick, they'll give you rads, so you want to keep them away. So, and shotguns are very heavy, and so is the ammo. Okay, so we're going to go and search the rest of the neighbourhood. So at the back of this house here, there is the root cellar. Now there are some very important things inside the root cellar. There is some gold bars, which can be immensely valuable when trading. Okay, but there's also some first aid kits, so stim pack right away. Uh, you can take this purify, uh, this irradiated food if you wish some pre-war money which like i said before is very very good for crafting and uh it's even better for selling aluminium cans are good for crafting Take that. there's winnet stout which will bump up your strength and your charisma so if you need that it's two purified waters Take that. Leave the sugar bombs. Don't need them. Duct tape. And then there's three gold bars. So there's one, two, three. And take those 45s. Can't hack the safe yet because it's a advanced lock safe. And there's one beer bottle. We could sleep here. Um, but this is a dirty mattress and it can make you sick. Uh, take the afford water. Let's get out of here. And then we want to hit up the ammo bag that's on the roof. Of this building, so get up to the roof, going up this tree trunk. There we go. Okay, let's go and activate the workshop. So now we can scrap items. So really, bob pin right away. Okay. 
there's a Nuka Cola bottle in this house. And I think that's all that this house is good for. So, a Nuka Cola bottle in the uh, kitchen area. leveled up. So we'll take those, a couple of rad roach meat, nuka cherry. So we're currently tired so if we were to drink a nuka cherry that would stave off some of our tiredness. Stimpat purified water, very nice. And then I think that's it for this room. Oh no. Yeah. And we've got a charisma suit. Okay, oh, no, no, so we'll take that. No, 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 no. So this room here is a safe. Now you want to be careful of the trap. So people see the safe and they come running in. They're like, oh, I want to disarm. I want to crack the safe. And then they get blown up by the bomb. I'm going to leave the pipe pistol because we've already got we've already got pipe pistols, so we don't need any more. No mirror here. That a gold watch. Not so interested in the wrench. Medex there. Good for poison resistance. Okay, so here's the cooking station. There's a couple of roaches here. So I think there's a milk bottle in the fridge, which can be filled with purified water. And I think that's all this house is good for. I think TV dinner trays contain plastic. Oh no, they're aluminium. You want to keep that. There you go, it's just knocked up saying we're parched from lack of water. But we're going to build ourselves a water pump in a second. So what we want to do is we want to activate workshop mode. And we're going to take our cooking station all the way up to where our sanctuary base is, where the rest of our crafting uh, things are. Let's just pop it down. Down there. Okay, so we want to re-enter workshop mode. And we want to scrap this concrete here. And then we want to build ourselves a water pump. So in resources, water, water pump. So anywhere in dirt. And then we've got an option to drink from it. So if you're thirsty, you can drink. And then we can fill bottles. Okay, so um, I'm just going to activate workshop mode again. And I want to scrap the typewriter, duct tape that scrap this battery make sure you don't scrap the workbench scrap the toolbox scrap this we don't need this loads of components in here don't need that scrap some of this right now uh lights lights are good because they have broken light bulbs which contain copper okay so you want to scrap those. Copper is very valuable. All right, this uh, this garbage can here. There's normally at least two frag grenades. Yeah. Oh wow, that's got some decent stuff. So 
so neither of those two are any good. There's a cram on the table here if anyone's interested. And then there's a first aid kit in the river. Down here in the toilet. So again, loads of... Uh, just be careful here, because if you scrap this, first aid kit will disappear. Now this first aid kit respawns, so I suggest leaving it. There's plenty of other ceramic, so you don't need to scrap that. You can leave that. Okay. And I think that's going to wrap it up for this video. Oh, there's another bottle there. We'll take that one. So, I'm not going to save. Um, because I want to keep my adrenaline, which I currently have at level 3. So, I'm doing 15% bonus damage. So, I can kill the Death Claw in Concord. Okay, because if I sleep now, I'm just going to blow away all my adrenaline. So, instead, in at the start of the next episode, we'll do a Nuka Cola. So, that my tiredness is okay. And we'll spend that perk point. Okay? So, then, guys, if you like this and you want to see more, please leave a like. Subscribe if you are new. And tap that bell notification so you don't miss anything. I have been Ratty Star, and this has been the new Fallout 4 Survival Walkthrough. And I'll catch you guys all on the flip side. I'm out. Peace.